Hey everyone, it's Amanda and I am back with the fourth and final installment of my Project Life Simplified series and this is the part where it gets so much fun. It's the, um, it's the video where I am recording the process of me doing an entire month's worth of photos, the month of April, and it took just a little over 45 minutes and you will see that at the very end I actually time myself. Um, of course I've sped it up so that you don't have to see the painstaking process of me picking out all of my um, individual elements and things like that but under an hour and an entire month was documented. Now that doesn't include the time that it took to do the photos and to cut them apart and to get everything like in little spots but um, the actual embellishing part I guess I should say is what took a little over 45 minutes. So um, I'm just showing you some things that I will be using. That was the large scallop punch that I use a lot. My date stamp um, so those little tiny letter stamps were actually from the dollar bin at Michael's um, and so at this point I'm showing you my process for creating my title cards and I picked three coordinating pages I cut one down to four by six whichever one's going to be the, the foundation part of it and then I do one at um, two and a half and then the last one I do at one and the one inch piece is the one that I will use the scallop punch and I will just punch out a border um, and then this becomes the part that gets layered on actually you know I for some reason thought I needed to cut that down and obviously I don't because it's a six by six inch piece of paper so I layer the two and a half inch piece down on top of the four by six and then my scallop border goes right on top that simple and you can see how quick this would be to make just do a whole batch processing of, of the whole year and get them done Miss Eleanor is laying next to me so if you can hear squealing that's what that is now I'm using these letters from the snap collection and I use a lot of them I have like three or four sets of them because I use them so often and I just try to pick a coordinating color with the pattern papers that go for the snap and then I picked usually I picked a thicker set that also coordinated for the numbers. So this was week 14 and I'm going to grab my roller date stamp and I'm going to get the the dates which I have up in the top right corner on that little piece of paper and I just punch or I stamp them somewhere on the card. So nothing fancy it took me maybe five minutes to do and this is a really great way to use up your six by six paper pads as well. Just go through, pick three, um, three pieces of paper, and then later on you actually have enough if you just piece it together without having to have another full 4x6 um, piece of pattern paper. You have enough that you could flip flop the designs and do another one later on in the album if you wanted. Uh, I think before I actually did that where I had two weeks side by side. So here I'm taking these little um, stamps and I think I'm spelling out Gatlinburg because that's where we went over spring break and my niece got to go with us and uh, on the way we just did a little bit of sightseeing. We stopped at the college that we went to which is where Landon and I met and um, we stopped at the local root beer stand in my hometown or close to my hometown that we always went to and that second photo on the top next to Adeline sleeping that's actually where Land proposed and so the journaling says six years ago the sign read will you marry me and um, so we stopped and had like a family photo taken underneath it of me and him and Adeline and then of course Eleanor's in my belly so and then this card I'm just circling the month that it was and the date that we were there and that slips right down into that pocket I have the studio calico um, calendar card there and and that finished up that side so very simple alright so on this side I've already typed out my weekend review I made it very simply in Photoshop didn't take long at all and I just typed out all of my journaling what we did that weekend about our trip and then just spending some time at my mom and dad's which is what those four photos are at the bottom some close-up shots of Adeline and her little feet and her hand she wasn't really walking yet so well, she was kinda walking she was tottering um, and then, well, I take that back. She was she was definitely walking because this was after her birthday, so she was good. And then the last photo is um, is a 
of deer jumping across a fence in my parents' backyard. Or next door to my parents' house, I guess I should say. All right, so these are the flea market collection. And it's just the mini kit, the Project Life. I have not bought an entire core kit in a very long time. Not since, like, when she had two kits out, I think, is the last time that I bought one. Um, but I have purchased two or three of the mini kits because I feel like I can get my money's worth out of those a little bit more. Um, and so on that pink one, I just stuck a little piece of flare that says spring fever and called that done. And I thought about using that corrugated die cut that said family, but it didn't fit and I didn't want to cut it down. So I'm going through and I found another card. And honestly, guys, I don't know where some of these cards came from. I didn't keep track of it. These are those wood veneer cards. And I really like the one that says, let's, oh, what's it say? Let's do, let's go somewhere fun. Because that's what that whole week was about. And I just simply stapled it there and called it done. And now I'm moving on to the back side. So you can already tell that there is not a whole lot of embellishing going on. I'm not worrying about making this um, a, a miniature scrapbook layout on every single card like some people do because I, I don't have the time. I was just trying to get caught up. And, uh, and it still turned out, I think it turned out beautifully. So I was well pleased with it. Here's another one of my title cards. Again, three coordinating papers. One four by six, one two and a half, and one one inch. Do my scallop and then layer them on. I seem to be having a little bit of trouble getting that scallop punch going correctly. And then I just pick two more alphas and stick my, uh, my week on there and stamp my dates and I'm good to go. Once I came up with this thing, I, oh my goodness, it was so easy. And um, once I got caught up, I kind of started doing them a little bit differently, but um, but I still, if I'm ever just in a rush, if I'm a couple weeks behind, this is this is definitely what I go back to because I've already got a lot of the pieces pre-cut from where I did a lot of batch processing here. And so um, I'm able to just grab those, punch, adhere them down, stick the alphabets on and go. So The only bad thing about doing this whenever you have a set type of alphabet that you're using, like the Snap Collection, is you use up a lot of your E's very fast because week um, has two E's in it. So now you can see that this one is a little, a little bit differently because it doesn't say week, it says weeks. And this is a great example of how I combined two different weeks um, on one spread. I let go of the, um, the, um, the idea that I had to have one week because then what happens is I have three photos and a ton of space to fill up and I don't have the motivation to come up with all those ways of filling it up and so it doesn't happen but this way I had weeks 15 and 16 they are together yet you know they're in chronological order because the um, the collect app allows you to print the date on there and it just it worked out fine so just playing around with these a little bit getting them where I want them to go and I'm stamping my date down. This one took a little bit longer just because of the positioning that I had to do but still very minimal time and mm -hmm. I'm making sure that I put the first day of week 15 and the last day of week 16 because it spans a two week time frame. One thing that always cracks me up about process videos when you're watching people is because the camera is zoomed in, it looks like I just have a very minimal amount of supplies and I'm so organized and, you know, I've pulled out everything that I want to use. But really, if I zoomed out, you would see that my entire desk was full of stuff. And um, I had pulled out a lot of things trying to use up my stash, like packages of things that I only had one or two left in to make sure that I used them up. And um, you don't see all that craziness. I always found that kind of funny. So I'm just going through my stash of 3 by 4 cards and picking ones that kind of fit the color scheme or things that say certain things. I really liked the um, Today Was Awesome thing because up on the right, top right, is a picture of uh, me at my job and it was the first day of spring and I, uh, I took my 
kids that I did after school tutoring with and I took them outside and we did our tutoring class outside because it was so nice and let's see that was April so I was like seven and a half months pregnant and I'm sitting cross-legged on the floor and I just thought this would be a great picture it's the first day of spring not the first day of spring but the first time we actually had true spring weather and you could tell we were all we all had a little bit of cabin fever at that point in the game so I'm using that diagonally striped card down at the very bottom and I'm doing my journaling on that. It's a great way to, to just add a little bit of variety and um, I don't always like for my journaling to be horizontal so it's kind of nice sometimes to do it this way. Those are my two go-to directions for journaling. I don't really like doing vertical because I feel like you have to completely turn your head around to see it. So. I slip that one and then I've just got that one spot left to fill and again I like that um, I'm gonna go for something usually whenever I have a spot like this you'll see me do a couple of things I will either find a flare band to go right stick it right in the middle I'll find a sticker to go right in the middle or sometimes I'll just find like a larger embellishment and staple it in it's quick it's easy um, like this one it was just a, a sticker but I stuck some um, dimensional adhesive, pop dots, whatever you want to call them, with a little bit of washi tape behind it to ground it, and I just stuck that on there and called it done. And it kind of mimics the card up on the top left that today was awesome with the circle right in the middle. And I like that. So I call that one done. I'm moving right along. All right, here's the other side. I've already got my weekend review card slipped in. I guess the biggest thing with this whole process is finding things that work for you. Um, some examples for this whole, um, you know, this whole project that I took on of getting caught up was um, the first process that I found was getting my photos in. And once I got the hang of getting the journaling in and getting them uploaded to my computer, and now it's so much more simple because they have they've actually partnered with Persnickety Prints, and um, you know you can you can do things, well I don't know if they've partnered, but there's a way to get them printed much simpler than having to go into Photoshop and um, and combine them onto one 4x6 template and things like that. So that's a lot simpler, but once I got that process done, you know, I flew through the photos. And then the second process was just getting everything put where it goes and all of my weeks labeled and things like that. The next one was creating my title cards and um, I, I whipped through those in maybe 30 minutes and I had a ton of them made up and then after that it was getting my week in review cards you know once you have the the basis of that created then all it is is just changing the typing and printing them out so it was not a hard process at all and then I could go back and really just focus on getting the uh, the embellishing done and yet still not spending a whole lot of amount of time on that I'm really simplifying the process this one it says um, the card a day in the life and I'm just talking about it was my grandmother-in-law's 80th birthday um, I was working on Adeline's birthday thank you cards that's what the top photo is uh, we went outside and Adeline was playing with the basketball and Landon was trying to help her and she was like jerking away from him and saying no no and um, I actually have an entire scrapbook page just with those photos and talking about how she was becoming so independent all of a sudden um, and then the photo down below is just the books being pulled off the bookshelf for the 8,000th time. And I, I think I journaled some about how I wanted to not, I didn't want to be the mom that just constantly says no, 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 no. And so at, you know, for some moments in life, like the books being pulled off, you just let her do it and you, um, you know, you pick them up time after time after time. and. It's just a phase that she's going through, and um, you know now this has been several months later, and she does not go over and pull the bookshelf or the books off the bookshelf anymore, and uh, and I have a picture to to document what that was like. So, I found some more cards that I can just slip into those pockets. There was a couple things that I did. I added in that yellow sticker to the middle of that one card, and then I just drew dash lines around it to kind of break up the space a little bit. Um, I think I also maybe, I can't tell, um, 
No, I did not. I thought that I outlined the do one thing every day that makes you happy um, card, but I didn't. And so I think I have a, um, I'm using a wood veneer arrow, yeah. I'm just sticking a glue dot and I'm putting it on that one um, card pointing to the basketball. You know, this is a good time to say too that a lot of people think that if you have it in your Project Life album, you know it's already scrapbooked, but I don't really feel that way. I mean, the picture with the basketball was part of our everyday life, so I wanted to include it, but it also had a greater story to tell. And so I took the same photo with, along with a couple others from that same day, and I did an entire layout on it. And I have a process video for it, I'm pretty sure. Um, but it, it, it didn't have to be just a, a one-shot thing where I... I put it in the Project Life album and I consider the story told because the whole story behind those photos could not have been told on one 3 by 4 card. So um, don't think that if you've done a traditional layout you can't put it in Project Life or if you put it in Project Life you can't do a traditional scrapbook layout because that's not true. I'm on this one and I did week 17 and 18 and the reason that that one is already completed is... Um, Um, because I am pretty sure that this was the very last spread for the month of April. So slipping in some cards. I will say one other thing that I did was I went through a lot of my um, scraps and I cut them down into either 3x4 cards or 4x6s and that's an example of that one right there. It's from a larger 12x12 12 12 paper, but I loved the frame, and I knew that it would be a good spot for journaling or to stick some kind of a, a flare badge like I did there, and uh, so that's what I did. And then on this one down here, I just stuck a little label that says, My Beautiful Girl, talking about Miss Adeline, and um, I am wrapping this up pretty quickly. It, it came together very, very fast. I was even... Kind of surprised. I, I, I will say I talked about my desk being a mess, but I did set out, um, I made piles of things that I wanted to use first. And so keeping that in mind, um, and I knew that I had set a goal of trying to get this done in under an hour. I think I forgot to mention at the beginning, I wanted to get the whole month scrapped in an hour. Um, and so with that in mind, I was working pretty quickly and I wasn't thinking like, oh, I could find a perfect stamp to put here and I could heat emboss it and I could add glitter. And, um, oh, I could really accent this, you know, whatever. I, I didn't do that for this project. Um, and to be honest, I don't think that I would have loved the outcome anymore if I had. So you can think about that as well. <laughs> Sorry about the baby sounds in the background, but... Us mommies know that sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, like feed your bottle, feed your baby a bottle in the middle of making the video. So I'm doing this last little bit of journaling on this card. I had something stuck down on it and then I decided to take it up because I, I didn't have as much room to write. So get that down and then I just went back in and um added it. Oh, I see. What, okay, that's what I did. I couldn't write on it because of the flare, so I tore it off the other side and then added it back on. And then I've got this one last card, and I, um, I, I, I like how this turned out, actually. I had those, I don't even know what they're called. I can't remember. Um, but they look like little, just irregular circles, and they have different things on them. So I just took a bunch of them, different colors that fit the theme, stuck some up on dimensional adhesive and some were not some were hanging off the edge and I just kind of created like my own little background a little bit I'm still just going through and now I'm gonna take my scissors and trim around the edge and get all those edges that are hanging off the side done slide it in. I think I'm trying to decide here if I want to add one more up at the top and I, I do decide to and I slip it right back in. 
checking everything out, seeing if there's anything else that I want to do. And, you know, now that I think about it, I did have um, one more side. And that what tipped me off was because I hadn't seen my May calendar insert yet because I always put that little card in there so that I know. And um, just a little bit about these photos. My feet were starting to swell from the pregnancy. Nowhere near as bad as I did with Adeline, but they did start to swell. Um, my husband loves going mushroom hunting every year. There's just like a couple week long season. And they're called morel mushrooms. I think that's what they're called. Gosh, I hope so. If not, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. But so he had got some and we always fry them. In Kentucky, we called them dry land fish because they kind of have like a fishy texture to them a little bit. And you fry them up like fish. So that's what they're called. Um, and then I have a photo of um, Adeline's baby album, Scrapbook Layout, that I was working on. And then Adeline on the floor throwing a temper tantrum because that was something that she was doing quite regularly at this stage of her life. And it wasn't anything dramatic. She would just lay down on the floor and cry. Sometimes I wish that her temper tantrums had remained that calm because anyone who has a two-year-old or an almost two-year-old knows that they don't stay so subdued when they get upset at this age. So just sticking some... Stickers down. I wanted to cover up that umbrella because I liked the raindrops, but I did not like the umbrella because nothing about this layout was rainy or sad or anything. I guess you could say Adeline was a little sad, but I just thought it was cute. So I stuck that on there. This is all from Dear Lizzie. Now I'm trying to find some things to coordinate with it that I could stick on top just to do kind of a little bit of a layering effect. Got some more of those stickers. I think they came in a kit somewhere. I think at this point I was just looking around at all of my supplies I had out and you know trying to add a little bit of um, of dimension without yeah. going overboard. Because I do like for my albums to have uh, you know, thicker elements on them. Maybe not every single layout, but for the majority, I always try to put something that's going to add some height to the to the flag, especially on the page where it's like the, the um, card that says, or not the page, but the card that says enjoy the journey because it's meant to, you know, it's meant to have some dimension, to, or, you know, to look like it has a little bit of dimension, but of course all the elements are flat. They're just printed on there. So, um, I wanted to add that and then I grabbed my stamps back and I'm just stamping a little bit of journaling on um, that other card. So I'm writing mushroom season I think. We're enjoying mushrooms. <laughs> oh that could be taken so many different ways. Sticking that one in there. I'm just outlining that heart in the letters again so it makes it kind of look like it's standing up off the page a little bit. Sticking those in there. I have one last card to, um, to just do some sort of embellishing. And again, I'm just grabbing my, and I don't have the little tiny attacher, I just have my big old office stapler that says enjoy the little things and I just slide it right on in there. I still don't think I'm satisfied with that bottom card so I'm on the hunt for something else to just kind of add to it and I find um, a little clear it's not what am I talking about that's not fair. It's a flower. It's white. It's a white flower, and I stuck it there. And it does get kind of smashed down, but I was okay with that. I didn't care so much. So, all right. So it took me 46 minutes and 54 seconds to get that whole thing done. And here I'm just kind of slowing it down and going through all of the pages so that you can see them. And 
stay tuned to the very end of this video because I have another short video where I walk you through the entire album that I had completed up to this point. I'm happy to say that I am currently caught up on the album and I will have a year-end review out a video coming up soon. Thanks guys! Hey everyone, it's Amanda and I'm here to show you um, my finished album for January through um, the beginning of July. So this is the last part of my series where I went through and documented um, how I completed six months worth of Project Life in about a week. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started and just th show you the completed album and um, at the end of the year I will show you the second. This is just the first volume for the year. The second volume will come at the end of the year. So all right some of this you've already seen in the very first video but I thought that I could go ahead and just show you again. This is my cover page. Um, I went ahead and added a picture of the four of us up here and then a picture of Eleanor is a baby and I say here it's January to June because that's the months that were covered. I also have a picture of Abby, our dog, and up here just this quote card, when you love what you have, you have everything you need. Okay, so this is week one. You can see the photos from the Collect app, just, you know, thrown in here. This was a, um, a picture that I already had. It was me and my, um, me and Adeline and Landon. At midnight on New Year's. I know you're probably thinking, why do you have a baby up at midnight? But you know what? It was her first New Year's Eve, so it was worth it. We have our goals down here for me and for Landon. And this is going to be a great year. I can feel it. And then I have this insert from um, a store that we have locally, Jungle Gems. We went to their new location. And then this quote card that I have. So I'm just going to keep going through quickly. Because you guys, like I've already said, you've seen this. This was week two, week three. I'm trying to get it where you can see both weeks, but I'm not sure that it's going to happen with this setup. Week four, week five. This was an insert for our gender reveal party that I just I used a um, Design G um, photo page protector and cut it off, and then used washi tape along the side. Another one with just some cute extra photos of Adeline. This is week seven, eight, and nine. Because remember, I just I didn't care about where, it, how many photos. I just combined them all together. Weeks ten and eleven with my daughter's birthday invitation that I made. We have week twelve with um, an insert for, well, two inserts for birthday party details. We have week thirteen and week 14 and again you guys have seen all of this either in my um, album where I showed the beginning of, or my video where I showed the beginning of the album or in the video where I showed how I went through and embellished and how quick it took to embellish the month of April this is weeks 15 and 16 again it's in that same area Week 17 and 18, and week 19. And now this is where, this is week 19 over here, and week 20. And so this is new. You guys haven't seen this part yet. So um, again, I stuck with the basic concept. Because I didn't have very many photos for week 19 and week 20, I um, just combined the two. So this is week 19. My husband went mushroom hunting. And this is us cooking our mushrooms. I put the number three because we're still a family of three at this point. Adeline, her mess, my belly, over here a funny drawing one of my kids made at school, to-do list, our garage got cleaned out, things like that. This is one of the journaling cards from Elise Blaha, Cripe. Week 21, our niece's birthday party, Adeline playing in the sand for the first time. Um, week 22, this is the week that Eleanor was born, so I could have went psycho crazy and included all these inserts, but I've got the basic pictures. I've got us at the hospital, a couple baby pictures, Adeline seeing her sister for the first time here, um, and then some fo more photos from the hospital. The rest of them will come in her baby album, so I'm not too worried about that. I do have where I Facebooked about how and it says, looks like Eleanor didn't want to stay in until Friday. We are headed to the hospital now. And it has 
the day that she was born on there. Um, I've inserted the card for June that came in that first Studio Calico kit because we started June here. And just, you know, this is where our life really changed a lot by having Eleanor here. Um, here I used some of these wood veneer. They're little doilies and I just stuck them on a piece of paper. That actually might be a... I feel like it's like the back to something that Studio Calico sends out. I think it is. Um, here is just normal everyday stuff. Alan's food. Landon and I escaped for a, a small quick date. Two hours or whatever. This is the first time we went to Kentucky. So this was week 23 which I had a full two page spread for. Then you get over here and we're back to one page for week 24. One page for week 25. <clears throat> um, some printables that I found on the internet. Just some wood veneers. So little jewels I stuck in here to kind of liven those up a little bit. Lots of pictures. And then week 26. And this is, again, just a normal week. I have lots of blank cards, which I'm okay with. This was a tag that I got from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. It came in a package, like canvas tags. And I'd had them in my stash for forever. And my whole goal in doing this was to eliminate a lot of my stash, which I did. I was really happy. Um... And so there's that. And then this is my um, my end page. And I kind of stole the phrase and then that I think it comes in the, I want to say the Midnight Core Kit, but I'm not sure. And I just used stickers and did it. This is from a blog that I found a long time ago and I just had it on my computer. I can't even remember who did it. So if you know who's, this is a free printable, um, please feel free to link it up below so that they can get credit for it. On this card, if you can tell, I just hand wrote over and over and over again, the journey continues. And then I have the letter O for our last name. And then I made this card very easily on, um, or in Photoshop, and it's, it says one out of two or half or whatever, because this is one volume out of two volumes for the year. And then an arrow pointing to the right, because that's the, the whole purpose. It, the year keeps going on. So this is it. This is January through... Oh, and these cards are from the Maggie Holmes Flea Market mini kit. And I just did this very recently. A lot of these pages I already had done, um, but I was waiting to figure out the perfect collection. And not all of these, like this one is, this one, this one, this one, that one for sure. I know this one's not, and this one is not. Um, but most of them are from that mini kit, so, yeah. But anyway, so you can see that I have six months, and it was very easy. All in all, this took maybe ten hours from the beginning to the end, maybe. And, um, you know, I've got half of our year in my album, and the other year, the other half is started, and, you know, I'm just, I'm, doing it as I go and not stressing out about it, but the fact that I've got this and it's ready to go on my bookshelf downstairs in our living room and to be thumbed through and looked at and enjoyed. So I hope that you've enjoyed this series and I hope that maybe it's inspired you to to take that first step and to, to be brave and to just say I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to find a way that works for me. And if you get so burnt out by looking at all the pretty stuff, remember that your memories themselves are pretty enough as they are. Um, that's a meaningful thing and if you can if you feel better and like you've made it more meaningful by adding a pretty sticker or a button or um, some words from an alphabet set then by all means go ahead but if you don't do any of that stuff and you just put photos in with journaling cards you know that's perfect that's what works for you and that's that's the joy behind this so <clears throat> it's kind of neat that I've went from why I decided to quit Project Life, you know, a video that I've almost got 10,000 views on, to this whole series where I have re-embraced the whole system and the whole um, the whole theory behind Project Life. I found a way to make it work, and I have, you know, at this point, I have nine and a half months um, documented from this year. So I have no intentions of quitting, and I'm doing little bits at a time, which is what's working for me. And if it gets to be next March and I'm just finishing 2013, well then that's fine with me. 
So, again, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have any questions, please feel, feel, feel free to ask me. I'm probably going to do a um, just a cumulative question-answer segment on my blog as a, a written thing because I have gotten some, or some questions from people. So, um, again, I hope you've enjoyed, and have a great rest of your week. Get out there and document your life. That's the important part. Bye.